Hello and welcome to another episode of Crizzy Books. I'm Crizzy, or Chris, but only my homeboys call me Chris. And today I'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite movies based on books. And obviously I'm a big fan of books. I started this channel, clearly. You know what I like more than books? Movies. I'm a big cinema head. Love me some film. I have a subscription to the Criterion channel, so yeah, I guess you could say I know a thing or two about motion pictures. I've seen at least like 50. And I love a really good adaptation. I love just seeing what a writer or a director can do with source material. Do they do just a straight adaptation? Do they do something different? Do they take the core story and make something their own? Do they just make a pile of shit? And so... I figured I'd talk about my favorite ones. This list is comprised of only movies in which I've actually read the book. There's some movies that should probably be on this list that I have not read the book. Looking at you, Lord of the Rings. Potatoes! There's also a lot of books that I love that I absolutely hate the movie. Looking at you, The Hobbit. <laughs> And there's even some on this list that I'm kind of, you know, impartial to the book. The book's fine, whatever. But I think the movie is fantastic. I think the movie outshines the book in every way. Uh, so it's it's a big, wide girth. And I'm actually kind of cheating with this list because not everything on this is just a straight-up book. I have also graphic novels, a couple manga series as well. Um, so you're going to get a lot of variety. And also... You should probably read these things, too. Just because it's not a book doesn't mean it's not good. These are in no particular order. These are just all ones that I think are fantastic. We have Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049 based on Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. I love this book, and I love these movies. I think I actually like 2049 the best. Uh, but I think that what Ridley Scott did with the original, taking PKD's story and really turning it into something that is similar, but also very different. I think it nails the atmosphere. I think that the special effects are incredible. The soundtrack, the acting, everything about this movie just comes together and creates something very unique. Ugh, I just, I, I, I love these movies. I think they're great. And the book is great too. And I think that that's what's so cool about both of them is they do live in their own lanes. The main story is there but they are doing something totally different from each other. And I, and I love both equally for their own, own reasons. Up next, we have Edge of Tomorrow, Live, Die, Repeat. I call it Edge of Tomorrow. Based on All You Need Is Kill. I read the manga series, but that's also based off of like a, a light novel or something. I have no idea. But uh, manga is good. Movie is great. Love it. I highly recommend reading the manga if you're interested at all. But this movie is also fantastic. It is one of the most underrated sci-fi movies I've ever seen. Awesome Tom Cruise movie. Just a man stuck in a time loop, fighting an alien war, and trying not to die. Trying to figure out how to uh, game this loop to not only break out of it, but also end this war. Uh, and it's awesome. Next up on the list, we have Ghost World. I read Ghost World, and I watched the movie years and years and years ago, and I think that I just was not emotionally mature enough to understand what it was I was watching or just how good it really is. I recently reread and rewatched both, uh, and I love them. I think the graphic novel is great, and I think the movie is really great incredibly funny but also super heartfelt introspective highly recommend either both uh especially if you find yourself being someone of the kind of uh counter culture or just you know you don't seem to fit in or you know whatever it just it nails a lot of those themes really well and and i think they're both really great the martian um based on the martian by andy weir love the book and I think that the movie did a great job. This is one of those on this list that I think as a just a straight up adaptation, it did so well. It doesn't stray very much from the actual source. Uh, it really is just a movie about a guy stuck on Mars trying to survive and get off of Mars. This is one where I definitely love the movie more than the book. Annihilation. I fucking love this movie so much. I saw it before I actually read the Southern Reach trilogy. I was very excited to read the book. I had heard lots and lots of praise about how great the series was. I found it a bit underwhelming. They aren't horrible. 
or terrible. They just really weren't for me. And I think that the movie is better. I love this movie. I think it is awesome. I think stylistically it's great. The soundtrack's amazing. I think it does a lot of really cool visual things. All around a very cool, unique sci-fi that I, I just really love. I mean, there's a bear that can has a, a skull and it can talk like people and it's very scary. Body horror, cosmic horror, science fiction, just what the hell is happening? This movie rocks. Next up, we have Dune. 1984. I love this one. It's better than all of them. It's better than the book. It's better than the new movies. I'm just kidding. Gotcha. Pranked you. 1984 is kind of fun. I mean, that's a fun one, but it's not good at all. The New Dunes by Denis Villeneuve. Fantastic based on the book by Frank Herbert. Not a huge fan of Dune. I, I don't hate it, but I just... Don't love it. A lot of people think that it's like the greatest thing of all time, and I just, I don't feel the same way. But I do think that the new movies are fucking awesome, and they rule, and I think that they adapt the story really well. Great visual effects, great pacing. I think that it does such a good job of setting up that world and making you feel a part of it, and the immersion is great. Yeah, fantastic. Next up, we have Fight Club, based on the book Fight Club by Chuck... Chuck P, that's what I call him, because I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Not a huge fan of Chuck P's work, but I do like Fight Club. I think that book was really good, and I think that the movie is also fantastic. I mean, I feel like at this point, that's just kind of like must-see. That's like a movie everybody has to see at some point. Yeah, it's awesome. Great acting, a really kind of what the hell is going on atmosphere and vibe. Brad Pitt just being awesome 90s Brad Pitt. A lot of weird, weird things going on. Love that movie. Next up, we have Harry Potter. Harry Potter, ah, based on the books by J.K. Rowling. It is still so impressive to me that a movie series that was, what, eight movies long? That it had such a consistent high quality. Every single movie is pretty good to great. I'm not a huge fan of, like, four and five. I, I didn't really connect with those ones very much, but I think that everything else was really good. I really liked the first two when they first came out. Prisoner of Azkaban, I think, is where it really turned up a notch and took on a darker tone and got more serious and started doing really cool and weirder things. And I think that the series ended on a really great note. A plus. Up next, we have Jurassic Park, based on Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. I've read this book, but I really kind of don't remember it very much. I plan on rereading it because I, I feel like it was just a blur in my mind. I love this movie, obviously, if you haven't seen Jurassic Park, what the fuck is wrong with you? Maybe I'm biased because it came out when I was like five years old, but I don't think I am. I think that a lot of this movie still holds up. I think the effects are incredible still to this day. What I do remember from reading the book was that the book was pretty different uh, in a lot of ways. And so I think that Spielberg kind of did his own thing with this one. And I think it's better for it. And lastly, we have another manga series. We have Akira based on the manga series. Akira. The manga series is really good and awesome and honestly fills in a lot of the gaps that the movie kind of has. This movie is not necessarily a five out of five movie, but I think its significance, the animation style of it is unbelievable it is so good the overall vibe of it it has a very cyberpunk tone to it it's awesome to watch even where maybe some of its story beats aren't matching up i think that that's kind of where it struggles the movie also skips over like a huge portion <laughs> of the series but uh you know i i think that the movie is very um well regarded just for its significance in the genre i don't consider myself to be a big anime fan but I think this movie is awesome, and I think it's totally watchable whether you like anime or not. Still so influential. Uh, even to this day, it's influenced so many things. And with that, there we have it. That is the top 10, my favorite uh, movies based on books, comics, graphic novels, you know, whatever. But what are your favorite movies based on books? Sound off in the comments below. Be sure to like the video. <laughs> subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.